Bria Jones with the Bulb Care Team, and I'm excited to be able to show you how Bulb can support your remote learning. We'll look at it from the teacher perspective as well as the student perspective. And so teachers right now are really looking for a place to be able to pull together their resources and instructions to be able to really make it easy for their students who are working at home. So let me show, what this, show you what this may look like. I'm going to click on Science under Mr. Taylor's portfolio. And he has produced a page on DNA and cell division. So he has a unit goals and his inquiry questions, his stages of mitosis, and he's actually pulled a video. You could also record your own video or audio and upload it directly to the Bulb site. And you'll see in a future video of how easy it is to be able to bring in all this kind of multimedia. He also has created a presentation and being able to put it right here on the Bulb page. And it's interactive. It doesn't take you out to another experience. You're actually able to see stuff right here and interact with it. You could do this with Google Slides, Prezi, all kinds of tools. He's linked out to a website and then actually embedded a PDF handout, which a student could pop out and view large and print if they wanted or just view it right on the page. And then he talks about, here's the cell model project that he wants them to be able to work on. Let's take a look at another example. This is an example of a writing assignment and how the context of the assignment is brought together beautifully within the bold page. This is another example of a writing assignment and how the context of the writing assignment is brought together beautifully on the bold page. And so this is about writing a memoir. And so there's some information about it. Here's the assignment, write a personal essay, and here are the requirements for that. Some prompts in here, some links to the real life student examples. And again, this is all put together in one page. So it makes it so easy for the student to resource everything that you need. You could also upload a rubric into here as well if you want your students to refer to a rubric when they're working on their work have a video that's attached here on the art of the memoir. Um, and then the students would create a brand new bold page and be able to um, write that memoir and then turn that into the teacher. Another example of a teacher who is doing a page about Eisenhower and the Cold War and has pulled together again some video content, has a PDF document here that students can read and reference. Um, but one of the cool things that he did was create a quiz within Google and has embedded it on the bulb page. And this is interactive as well. And so the students can actually put in and type in and be able to submit this assignment right from the bulb page. And then there's also a video down here from some bonus features. Looking at another example, Mrs. Berg, she has just created a remote learning resources and assignments collection on her own portfolio and has done some interesting stuff. Um, these, are all uh, these are all resources that are available in the Bold Library, and I'll show you how to access those at the end of the video. So you'll notice that she's done some interesting stuff with images and trying to get students to be able to respond and practice vocabulary. This might be great for English language learners or for those that are learning new vocabulary. Um, use these words to label the image, write a caption for these images using the words, uh, record audio and fill in the sentences, write words next to the pictures, listen to this audio and answer the question. Today, I went to the swimming pool. And now tell your own story and include three activities that you can do, and they can do that with words, visuals, video, to bring that to life. So I'm going to click Next down here and navigate to another example of a template. This is a research project on women's history. And so the teacher's done a great job of using some visual cues for the students so they know exactly what to do. So all the action items are in blue, and then in gray are all the helper text. So put the name of the woman you chose, where did you find these facts, what are the sentences reflecting, and then do a video auditory recording reading that um, and giving kind of an online presentation. Let's talk about reflection a little bit. Reflection is so key to learning, um, and a lot of times we struggle to find time to do it in class. So 
during this remote learning opportunity, what a great way to be able to get students to start to reflect on their learning and build their portfolios with the things that they're proud of. So this is a great template that you can use to have them reflect on what song is your theme song from this year or even this semester or even during this time during remote learning. Uh, what's a recent project or assignment that's most challenging to you and why? What do you feel most proud of? A word to describe you. Get out that creativity. And then what are some tangible goals that you have um, for yourself during remote learning? So let me show you how to get to the library. If you type in bulbapp.com slash library or when you're logged into your portfolio, you go to your hamburger menu go to more and then click on Bulb Library. That will also take you to this page. There are a lot of great resources here and there's hundreds of templates and examples, but we pulled a handful of those out for you that we thought might um, relate to you from a remote learning perspective. So this is a great guide right here on just some hyperlinks. Um, our Bulb Tic-Tac-Toe is a great way to get students building their portfolios. The Favorites Thing Assignment helps students find their voice and have a little bit of fun, especially when they're getting taught new technology. The Staycation Journal, Passion Projects, or something that's a great way to use a portfolio and to get students learning um, remotely, but learning about things that they're really interested in. We can also go over here to this collection and there are a ton of resources here to, for you to be able to use to get students creating in their portfolio, thinking, learning daily, and being able to have that all in one place. So let's take a look at the student perspective of a portfolio. So here's an example of a student. One thing I would recommend is encourage your students to create a remote learning collection. That'll keep everything in one place. It'll make it so much easier for parents to know, hey, what has my student been working on? Um, let me check that out. And for you as a teacher, you can easily go to your students' portfolios and then take a look at their remote learning collection and see the kinds of things that they've been doing as well. So there's lots of ways to be able to utilize Bulb. Um, journaling is a great way to have them reflect and um, work on that social emotional learning, make sure that they're doing okay and they're really thinking about what's going on in their world. Um, and they could be things like, hey, what did you do today? Your highs and your lows, what are your goals, things like that. It could also be activities like learning about the coronavirus and being able to use different kinds of media to help them solidify an understanding about what's going on in the world right now. You can also do some book challenges and have them read books aloud and practice that fluency and then you as a teacher can respond to that and leave comments on media and text and you'll learn about that in a video um, shortly. They can do some quick writes, their passion projects, um, any content that they're creating for you, they can create in bulb and house all in one place and also be able to really take advantage of having this very digital platform. And some of it might be that it could be things that they're writing by hand and then simply taking a picture and uploading it to the bulb website. So hopefully that gets you inspired on how bulb can support your remote learning. One thing I do want to note, a lot of our teachers are also using learning management systems. Those are things like Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams, Canvas, Schoology, all of those kinds of platforms. Bulb works really nicely with those platforms. Those platforms are really designed from a management perspective. You can create a due date of an assignment um, and post it in your learning management system. Students respond to and post their assignment artifacts through that learning management system. A lot of those systems you input grades in as well. And so the workflow is that Bulb can really help support the creation side and keeping all of that content in one place. And then they can submit that content through the learning management system. And you can create content to give to your students. And you can put that content and link out in your learning management system or you could use our bulb groups which you'll learn about later as well.